Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about function arguments and its different forms. Let's see directly the sample code, then you will understand the importance of this topic. What is function argument? The input value which we pass into a function for manipulation is called function arguments. Some say it as input parameter also, both are same. In this example, we are welcoming the user with greeting message. The function name is welcome user and we have used two arguments name and message. When we call this function with username as Kiran and a greeting message as have a nice day, based on this input, you will get the dynamic output message. Let me execute and show you the result. We got the output dear Kiran, have a nice day. Now we'll see a negative scenario. What will happen if we provide only one argument instead of two arguments? Here we didn't mention the greeting message. Let's execute this scenario. We got a type error, welcome user missing one required positional argument message. Then how to handle this scenario? We can handle this scenario in three ways by using default arguments, keyword arguments and arbitrary arguments. We'll see one by one. First one default argument. We will use the same example. So I am copy pasted the same code. Now how to resolve this error? We can provide the default value to the arguments whichever we wish to display. Here we can give the default value for message arguments. The syntax is message equal to have a nice day. If we mention like this, in case if the user forgot to mention the second arguments, the function will use this default value in the place of missing value. We will execute and see the output. Here we got the output without the error message. The same function with multiple values will execute it. Dear Muthu, good morning. Then Dear Raghu, good evening. Then the third one, we didn't mention the input parameter, so it took the default value. Dear Karthik, have a nice day. The points to remember, default argument assumes a default value if the value is not provided in the function call. By using the assignment operator, that is equal to, we can provide the default value and it is also called positional arguments because we are giving the values based on the position. We have few more important note for interview purpose. We can provide any number of arguments with default value. For example, if you have 10 arguments, you can give 10 default value also. Then second and third point we will see with an example. Here we change the argument position Initially it was name and message, now message comma then username and have a default value to the first argument. Let's run this code, we got the error message. Because always remember if we mention the default argument, all the arguments to its right side must also have the default value. If we are not mentioning the default value, then you will get the error. That's what mentioned here, non-default argument follows the default arguments, which is not allowed. So make sure whenever you mention default value, the arguments to its right must also have the default value. The next argument is keyword arguments. The best part of keyword argument is we can send multiple arguments using single keyword. Let's learn with a practical implementation. We are going to create a function to display the employee details such as name, age and a company name. The function is created using def keyword and its function name is we will make it as employee details then parenthesis colon. Now the syntax to mention the keyword argument is double asterisk or double star followed by the keyword. I will give the keyword as user and this is the syntax. Using the user keyword, we can send multiple values. Added the doc statement, then we are going to print it name as the input value which we are passing. The syntax is keyword which is user. 
enclosed square bracket then within single or double quotes you have to mention the argument name in our example it is name similarly can you guess what will be for the next argument name user within the square bracket within the quotes age similarly we added for the company name also now we completed function creation the next step how to call the function and pass the arguments value we have to mention the function name employee details within the parenthesis using name value pair mechanism we can mention the input example name that is nothing but this particular argument equal to within the double code vinesh comma then next one it will be age equal to 30 comma company equal to x y z this is how we have to provide the input arguments now we will execute it we got the correct output name is finish age 30 and company x y z this particular keyword can be used n number of times within the function for your calculation purpose that is one of the big advantage and also we are sending all the arguments using single keyword the best part of keyword mechanism is we can change the position of the argument i'm using the same example here what i did is i just changed the position of the argument company age and name just we will execute we got the perfect output so the conclusion is for keyword arguments even if we change the position of the argument we will get the exact output but still if you feel this is bit tough to understand then the simpler way is instead of single keyword we can mention arguments like name comma age comma company and the calling function will be same just execute we got the correct output so whichever method is easier for you you just follow that and it is also called as fixed arguments because the number of arguments mentioned in the function is fixed additional note for interview purpose we can also mix both positional and the keyword argument that is the default one which we saw it first and the keyword argument we can mix it in the same program but only thing you have to remember is always keyword argument should follow the positional argument see this example in the input parameter first one is positional keyword keyword this is a valid syntax in the next example positional keyword positional which is an invalid if you execute this code then you will get the syntax error non keyword argument after keyword argument which will create the error message a short recap we use name value pair mechanism then we can change the position or order of the arguments then it is a fixed arguments the next argument type is arbitrary argument there will be some situations like we are not sure about in advance how many number of arguments to pass into the function such type of situation can be handled using arbitrary argument that is dynamically handling the arguments let's see with an example we are going to create a function which welcomes user with greeting message here we are not sure how many number of user will be an input value using def keyword we created a function and the function name is welcome user parenthesis colon the syntax for arbitrary argument is single asterisk r star followed by the parameter name the parameter name will keep it as names because so many names we are going to give it as an input then added the doc statement and printing the input values after this now we have to welcome all the user so for loop for name in names colon print the output message name in this is a variable name input value which we will be passing and then finally printing the output now calling the function function name within the parenthesis we are providing multiple values just execute the program printed the input values which we have given vinesh hari kartik ragul then based on our input value dear vinesh dear hari dear kartik dear ragul like that it is printing the output
suppose if number of argument is increasing like Vinod Anand just execute the code then also this program will work perfectly this is what called as arbitrary arguments because it can handle the arguments dynamically based on our requirement here the input looks like a tuples right which is enclosed within the parenthesis it means if you want to manipulate using tuple then it is another best way to do it that's the end of this video thanks for watching happy learning